Hello, it's your friendly bus driver Ant, and welcome to another City Bus Manager video. Uh, today, I wanted to do a little bit something different. A lot of people have been reaching out and asking fe about features and uh, mods and requests, so I wanted to show you a little bit about how to do it all on Steam. So you'll see that we play with a lot of mods in our scenarios. I'll just load one of my scenarios up for you. I think this will be like the Ribble 100 team, because this is the one that I've been playing with the most. Um, and you'll see that within that, we we have modded buses um, usually to tell that it's a mod is that when you look in so we'll just pause because we're much in debt in this one what which game are we playing in oh we're playing a new save a blackman bus company new black bus company save um, but you'll notice that we have modified um, a mod mod in, in the game uh, and those mods themselves are you know not usually look like metro city ev they usually don't look very similar to um to what buses are in city skyline so we got the opposite way uh, city bus manager sorry so yeah we have a few mods in here and we the mods we get ourselves are from the workshop so in steam you know, obviously on, under your library under your home section you would find city bus manager once that is running click the workshop and inside the workshop you can find many uh, different sort of like um Buses, liveries, paint jobs, uh, even even scenarios. So we have a scenario at the moment. Um, and when you click in scenarios, you can... Your favourites, friends' favourites, friends' items are followed over. So your favourites, I've got no scenario saved at the moment. Um, we can show all. Uh, and this will show you how to basically, you know... Look, so most recent. Sort by most popular over the all time so we might be able to see ours actually because we, we we are we did have one on here but it might not be the best it might not be the best ours might be but you can you can basically grab these and follow this order. there you go central obey the Rosal bus company so you can subscribe to this uh and obviously see what's going on and uh yeah so you, you would subscribe to it and it allows you to basically work through what we have decided is a scenario. So for that, that scenario we, we were using, uh, the company's got out of money, you've got to really rebrand us. Um, when it comes to, to be able to actually read, right, so I might have to switch save here in a second because I don't know if I'll be able to apply a paint shop. Yep, there I can. So when it comes to painting buses, is anything free at the moment? Most of these buses will probably be required to go somewhere. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll run the day. See if one makes the way to the paint shop. Uh, when it comes to be able to paint buses, there are a few ways you can do it. Um, you can get um, stuff off the workshop. So if we go back to Steam, and we go to workshop. Right, here we are. So there's there's three ways to do it. You can click new, create a new painting, import a repaint, and export it. If you export it, basically it goes to our app ROM folder. And then we can use a program to look at it and paint it. So I on the recommendation of a colleague, I use openwavepaint.net. It's quite easy to do, so you just basically uh, you know just paint the bus in. Now, some buses you do have to go along and um, kind of re-trim uh, them in this per se. Like you just got to make sure that they're not. So we'll just do this one quickly. Uh, put that on there. Some of them you do are required to like have to go and do a little bit of work around like the lines and stuff. So you don't obviously, if you want the lines to look right or the back of the buses, mainly around the headlights tend to have the problems I've found with some of the repaints that I've done. Um, this is just a quick repaint. And the box done. So sometimes around the headlights, can you see how the headlights aren't looking right? 
So when you before you do the repaint, you just go around the headlights and just make sure that looks right. Uh, right, so we're happy with that. That's what's a quick layer. So what we'll do is we'll save that as. I'm going to save it as a PNG, and I want to put it on the desktop because I want to be able to find it quickly. So we go back to City Bus Manager, and we'll go into the Import Repaint, and we'll go to Desktop, right G3, Select. And obviously, this time we've done something wrong. So for some reason, uh, export. Mm, maybe it's the wrong one that I've done. I thought it was alright. What we can do is we can create a new repaint. Is it alright? It's a right deck. Import repaint. View. I always tend to look view by list detail, so like the best date. 26. Open with paint.net. Okay. So we'll just, again, oh, control shift everything. Add paint, see if. We'll just quickly file save as, and we'll just go to, uh, that's why it's a different bus, we'll just go to desktop, we'll just save it quickly, we'll go new import, uh, there you go, you can see, you can see what it's doing, so we basically we paint it in paint, um, and bring it over to so look at them. Uh, you can also then obviously browse Steam Workshop directly. So um, this might be more difficult to do whilst you're playing the game. Uh, I tend to find myself before starting the game, I will um, go into the workshop itself and look at like the latest, the most recent skins, um, most recent paint jobs. In when you click into it, it will tell you what the required item is. So this bus requires this paint requires this 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 bus first. If you don't have this bus, this paint won't work. So that that helps you like identify what you need first. So like this one, and you can see I've got it ticked because I've already got the item installed. That allows you to do it. If you install a mod that doesn't work for you so like one of your bus obviously we're looking at paints now paints don't tend to break them but if you look at look if you go back to the home page and you go to where is it your favorites no it's not our favorites where is it uh browse you go to browse subscribed items in here it shows all the items that you subscribe to so what i tend to do is look at the ones that i've installed and then be like right okay i need to uninstall that because that's the cause of the problem uh that's how i fixed that um dead simple dead straightforward it's quite an easy game to get on with i tend to use a lot of um mr chips mr chips and cw315s uh, um what you call it hey he's got a 464 good lad <laughs> um yeah, so I, I tend to use his his work a lot, and you can find his work by just going to like Mr. Chip's workshop and then clicking on there and following through. Again, you can do that with a lot of them um, and just seeing what they've done, what they've got. But yeah, that's a quick look at how to um, install, mod, and play City Bus Manager. Again, I've got this one. I've got in the local set. If you want to, if you've once you've installed them the um what's the word i'm looking for the mod the templates you just browse local templates and then that's what it does so it, it yeah places it in there or you know this was for a joe dobson one but yeah anyway that is how you paint a bus that's how you paint a bus, install mods and stuff. I just thought I'd give a quick insight into it because I know a lot of people have been asking me. I hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.